I came to the U.S. two years ago as an international student, and I got a cross-cultural training right after I got here. During that time, I was so excited, and I had a super high confidence that I would adjust very well here. I expected my English would improve quickly, and I would easily make American friends. Therefore, I paid very little attention to the training and learned little from it. However, a couple of months later, I was frustrated because life was not like what I expected. My English didn't improve a lot, and I had trouble getting along with Americans in my department. I was upset. Why did I always hang out without inviting me? Am I doing something wrong? Then, luckily, I got a chance to receive the cross-cultural training again. Only at this time, I realized how the training content was relevant to me, and I learned how to interpret Americans' behaviors and how I should behave appropriately here. For example, I should take the initiative asking Americans to join them instead of just waiting there for them to invite me. And I am not supposed to keep silent in the classroom here as what I did in China. From this interesting experience, I realized the time I received the cross-cultural training has a huge impact on the training effectiveness. Therefore, I focused my study on the timing of delivery effect. So, why is time critical? From this famous U-curve theory, we can see that the international adjustment is a function of time. When people first move to the new culture, life seems exciting and wonderful, just like a honeymoon. Well, as time goes, people start to experience difficulties, which give them cultural shock and make them upset. After the tough period, however, adjustment will bounce back gradually. For me, the first training was during my honeymoon stage, where I tend to ignore the difficulties I might have. Well, the second training was during my cultural shock period, in which I learned uh, uh, how the training content was relevant to me. Therefore, I learned much more from the second training. The study is very critical because there are more and more people go abroad for jobs and education every year. And a failed international experience can cost a lot of money. For example, on average, each early returned expatriate employee can cost the organization up to a quarter of a million dollars. If we could understand why and how the timing of delivery influenced the training effectiveness, we could make people's life more enjoyable in the new culture and save the company a lot of money. Thank you.